So I have installed two relatively new games on my 4.05 jailbroken PS4 console. Will those games run on firmware 4.05? Let's check it out. Let's try loading the 4.05 hand payload and run those games. Open this URL from the PS4 web browser. Choose 4.05 and choose hand payload. You can see the notification here and then press the PS button to go back to the home screen. Then try running those games. You will see the error notification and the game won't run. This goes the same for the other game. As I made this video, the latest jailbreakable PS4 firmware is 5.05. So we must update the console to 5.05 to run the game properly. But I have enabled the update blocker. So we must remove some folder inside the console using FTP manager or else you cannot update it. Reopen the web browser and go to the payload selector page. Choose FTP server payload. Look at the notification and make a note of the console IP address and port number. Open your favorite FTP manager such as FlashFXP or FileZilla. Then input the console IP address and port number. Enter the update folder, then delete both PS4 update folder. Open this URL from the computer web browser. And download the 5.05 firmware. Now prepare a USB flash drive. Make sure you have formatted the flash drive as FAT32. Create a folder named PS4 inside the USB flash drive. Then create another folder named update inside the PS4 folder. And drag the downloaded 5.05 firmware to this folder and rename it to PS4 update. Now disconnect the console from the internet. Then go to settings. Lock the USB flash drive to the console. Then choose system software update. Follow the on-screen instruction to update the console to firmware 5.05. Now the console is updated to firmware 5.05. From this point, you have two options to run the 5.05 payload. The first one is using the online exploit, and the second one is to use the ESPA266 Wi-Fi module. Now we will try to use the first option. To use the online exploit, just do the same as before. Open the PS4 web browser and you will see the same web page. Choose the 5.05 firmware and choose the update blocker payload. This payload will prevent your console from getting an unexpected firmware update. Then press cross to go back and choose the main 5.05 payload selector page. Choose the homebrew enabler payload.
you can minimize the web browser using the PS button and try running the game. Since you have already enabled the update blocker, you don't have to worry about this update notification. Just choose update later. Then the game will run properly. Now we will try to use the second option. Go to this URL and download the file. Prepare an ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. Connect the Wi-Fi module to your computer using a USB micro B cable. Then you will see the new device notification. Open the device manager. Right-click the USB 2.0 serial and update the driver online. Now the ESP8266 is fully installed, and on my computer it is detected on COM4. Go to this URL and download the Note MCU Flasher. Then open the downloaded package with WinRAR. There are some folders inside it. If you want to modify or edit the project, then you can extract the project files and open it with Arduino IDE. You can watch my previous tutorial about editing the Arduino project later. Read the link in the description. Now you can choose between multi-firmware payload or 5.05 payload only. I chose multi-firmware payload. Extract the binary file to the desktop. Then run the Node MCU flasher. Select the COM port and choose the binary file. Then press flash node MCU. Remove the ESP8266 from the computer and plug it into the PS4. Now restart the PS4. Now disconnect the console from the internet. Now go to settings and set up the network connection. Choose Wi-Fi and choose now if you have set up the Wi-Fi network before. Then choose custom settings. Choose PS4 exploit. Then enter hack my PS4 as its password. Choose automatic IP address. Do not specify the HCP, then enter the DNS address manually. Enter the primary and secondary DNS address as shown on the screen. Set the rest of the settings as default. You can test the internet connection, but you will always get the failed status, because it does not connect it to the internet. Go back and open the user's guide. Now choose the 5.05 firmware and choose the homebrew enabler payload. Minimize the web browser with the PS button and try loading the game. There's no more update notification. You have come to the end of the guide. Thank you for watching the video, I hope you like it. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will be back with more interesting videos ahead.